Hello, my little Ranchies. How are you today? I am back doing a video game BL review. I haven't done this in a long time. And what you see here on the screen, yes, I saw this on the official Twitter page called BL It's Games or Blitz Games. They're the people who made Camp Buddy, that game that was popular. I think I, when did that game came out? I think I'm, I'm gonna be wrong, 2017-ish. Um, like that game was popular. I've been seeing people playing it on YouTube and it looks so freaking cool. I would love to play it. Comment down below if you want me to play that game because I really want to. Uh, but yeah, this is another BL game that they made called Jock Studio. And look at this cast, this colorful cast. It is amazing. I love the art style. And yes, we got some diversity up in here because look at that. We got a black nigga up in here. Very stereotypical, you know, black guy playing basketball <laughs> I, I'm, like, I'm not offended I think it's funny but I think it's cool he looks hot anyway so we got this guy here we got him this white ass guy this blonde kid this spiky hair dude this chunky not chunky but like this muscular football player and this guy is a sexy swimmer and I am up for it I'm in it let's go I love the logo it is beautiful colorful it does feel like a <laughs> like an athletic theme game and dude we could date jocks you don't think jocks are dumb but i hope these guys are not stupid let's see so we are at olympus university it says welcome to olympus university and oh my gosh look at it i can sense this game probably has like greek mythology going on because look at the this thing here we got like people like throwing spears shield i think they're throwing like rocks i can't even tell but like oh my god we, and we got two, two of these guys from different teams like fighting each other like fist fighting i want to know how how much this school costs because this is huge and amazing it's like a coliseum seriously like look at it and look at the statues okay i might have to block this okay because they're showing their 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 beautiful sausages and i might have to like blur it out i'm sorry but to my eyes they look nice and big like, oh my god so each statue represents different sports so we got here on the left we got the, this guy playing soccer this one's playing um basketball this is a swimmer i don't know what the fuck he's doing i guess like track i guess wrestling this one is a volleyball player and this one is a football player and oh my god they got a waterfalls happening this school must be very very like established and like probably like rich because like this is a Ah, this is beautiful and huge. Got some like Hercules vibes going on. I like that. Okay. So here's the description of the game. For many, college is a once in a lifetime experience. <laughs> Yeah, nowadays you don't, you don't even need to go to college. You can go to college, you know, if you know what you're going for and you, and you know that you got a job lined up after you graduate, you know, college is good, but it's not for, for everybody. So don't be discouraged if you don't want to go to college. Don't let people judge you if you don't go to college. Just go to college if you know what type of career you want to do for the rest of your life. Like college will help you. Basically, if it's like, you know, tech jobs, healthcare, those will last forever. Just go for it. If you want to do it, go for it. If you don't want to go to college it's fine you, you don't have to follow everybody's path you can do something else it's allowed <laughs> anyway <laughs> for many college is a once in a lifetime experience and olympus university is guaranteed to be a place worth remembering yeah i would definitely remember all those beautiful boys like going at it <laughs> olympus u is the most prestigious sports school in the world known for its athletic programs and award-winning teams at this all-boy campus attendees build close-knit communities of classmates and teachers forming their own circle of friends that last a lifetime. Experience everything college life has to offer, from creating unforgettable experiences, finding romance in the most unlikely of places, ooh, like in the locker rooms, there's always shit going on there. <laughs> and in this impactful period of life, discovering your sense of purpose. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they better have a scene where these guys are going at it in the locker rooms. Like, it would be so interesting and funny. I'm like, so that's what you guys do at gym class at 4 p.m. Oh, okay, I'm taking notes. <laughs> like, don't worry about me. I'm your professor. Yeah. I mean, I'm your gym teacher. You know, I want to make sure that you guys are performing right, making your, your penises look nice and firm, and like, make sure you guys are 
going at it and like training hard, literally go hard. <laughs> go hard for mama. So Jock's camera action, I love the font, man. You, like it does make me feel like this is an athletic theme, like game. Like you would see this font mostly on like, you know, sport jerseys and everything, or, or the varsity jackets. And I love it, I love the vibes, oh my God. What do we have here? While well known for sports, Olympus University hosts plenty of other extracurricular activities as well, huh? I wonder what that is. <laughs> Including the former film club, which has been transformed into the secret jock studio. Oh shit. As the club's newest member, you'll cast a variety of athletes with whom you'll produce and direct spicy films with, and maybe even join in. What exciting and mysterious events await inside the jock studio? Dude, wait, so you're telling me that you can film in the school like a sex tape so i could be bringing like let's say let's say like the fucking swimmer guy i'm like yo we found the jock studio somewhere in the basement of the school let's fuck we, there's a couch over there we got a camera we got an editor and we got a director whoever that is probably the main character we're going hard we're gonna flood the place while also cleaning it up after that yo the school allows this they don't care <laughs> whoever the principal is i will thank you this is amazing <laughs> Yo, the school allowed you to film your own sex tape however you want it, whatever time of day you, you're gonna, you know, schedule. <laughs> They're like, just keep it loud as you want. We don't, we don't care. Just go at it. Have fun. Oh my god. They got the lights, the camera, the couch. That couch looks this. Looks, ugh. <laughs> they couldn't find a better couch. It looks deflated. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be interesting and weird. Like the school allowed this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they probably scheduled like, okay, I'm I'm trying to go to I'm trying to use the Jock Studio at this time with my with, with my friend if you don't mind and like let's do this. Oh my frick, <laughs> spicy film. But like even if you guys like record a spicy video. <laughs> Where are you gonna distribute it to? To like the school website? <laughs> On YouTube? Like, what's gonna happen after? Are you guys gonna keep it and for memories? <laughs> like, what are you gonna do with it after you're done? Sell it? Make money out of it? Like, like would you get an A? Is this part of the cur Oh wait, it's part of the curriculum. So you have to make a sex tape in order to pass, I guess. I, I don't really know, man. I feel like you have to make a sex tape in order for you to pass. So you better get that A plus plus super S mega plus because <laughs> If you don't pass, you might fail, it might do it over again, which is not a bad, not a bad idea. I'd rather just fail plenty of times and have fun with it, <laughs> you know? Let me in! <laughs> so yes, these are the cast of boys that we're gonna be putting our nay-nays into. <laughs> so there's like seven boys, and the first one is the main protagonist. His name is Ace Anderson. Yes, look at his generic hairstyle and his cute freaking face. <laughs> The game's protagonist, Ace Anderson, is a college freshman still trying to find his way at Olympus University. Indecisive and a bit lazy, Ace has yet to pick a major or find any club that suits him. Ah, relatable. Ace has always been helpful of finding purpose in his seemingly dull life. And little does he know that everything is about to change for him when he starts anew in Jock Studio. So he didn't choose any sports, you know. He's like, I'm gonna go right in and figure out what I need to do, what I want to do during college. Good for him. And he's 19 years old, he's a freshman, and his house is not, oh, he didn't choose a house yet. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, this is the main character, Ace Anderson. Oh my God, I love his shirt. <laughs> His sweatshirt. Oh, he's so cute. Nice shoes. And they're showing his his casual clothes and his <laughs> his nude form. Oh my gosh. I, I I think I'm blocking the way, but like, yeah, he's wearing like I guess underwear, <laughs> speedos. I guess I don't know, but like, looks nice. Like he has a nice tone of body. He's very sexy. Thank God he is 19 years old. <laughs> I got like, oh, I am happy this game is based in college because if it was in high school, a lot of people be like, oh, am I too young? Um, I'm like, yo, shut the fuck up. Like, they're not real. They're fictional. Shut up. There's other things in life that are more important than, like, you bitching about, like, boys fucking. Like, relax. <laughs> 
Like, it's not the end of the world. Just don't play the game if it bothers you. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, <laughs> bro, don't rush things. You just started college. You will hear this a lot. You have plenty of time to figure out what you want to do in life. You're only 19. <laughs> you have a lot going for you, man. Take your time. Take generic classes. Like, be a liberal arts major like most people always do. Like, even I was like that when I was in college. I just take liberal arts. Well, my issue was like, I keep changing majors a lot, which kind of like postponed my graduation a little later in life. But like, whatever. It was, it was worth it. <laughs> but like, dude, take your time. Pick whatever major you want. Try to experiment. Meet new people. Have fun. Go to the parties. Don't party too much, though, because you, you don't want to make an accidental regret. But like, maybe you might do it. I don't know. I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> but like, indecisive, man, I'm still like that. It's annoying. I hate that. <laughs> lazy. I'm, I used to be lazy in my classes. Like, only classes that I don't care about. I just, I fucked up my classes in the beginning of my college career. It was not that great. Honestly, though, my advice is like, don't start college right away because you're not going to figure out what you want to do. If you know what you want to do in life, whatever job you want to go for, whatever makes you wake up in the morning and feel happy about it, and also making good money out of it, just, you can go to college. Don't force yourself to go to college, please. I hope your parents did not force you to go to college after high school. That's a bad move. I would say take a year off, find a full-time job, work, save money because you do need money to pay these loans and tuition. I would say gain life experience first. Like, go to the outside world. Experience it first because it will hit you hard if you finish college right after that. Life is hard. Life can get in the way. Find out what you want to do in life. Like, meet new people, experience life, or travel. That will help. It really helps a lot. Figure out who you are, what you want to be, because it's it's not a bad thing that he doesn't choose any sports yet because you know it's common just take your time just just try out all the sports and maybe you might find something that you like and go for it and hopefully graduate on time and not change it dude take your time dude you're you have a cute face don't worry about it <laughs> i guess like the house like well of course as like uh, a freshman and we're the player i guess we could choose whatever house we want i guess based on the the sports like baseball basketball whatever they have in the school you're so cute and you're nice Teen IMP face, his toad ass body, like damn. I do love his casual wear. He had like buttons. I like this shirt, <laughs> the sweatshirt, the sweater. I feel like he must have bought that from the school store. <laughs> Like, no, no hate, no judge. I, I love your, your casual wear, it's cute. I just realized each boy have their own symbol. Cool, he has like this arch symbol, like some Greek, some Greek, um, I don't know what you even call this, it. like a statue, I don't know. Next we have the sunny boy, the sun kid, Leo Mendez. Okay, look at him, and he does soccer, look at that. Carefree and bursting with energy. Leo Mendez is the ace player of the soccer club. The, this young go-getter is always keen to try something new. Whether it's an interesting class, an ex exciting game, or a crazy hangout with his friends, <laughs> Leo always says yes to everything. <laughs> Even joining Jock Studio for better or worse. Damn, dude, do not say yes to everything because you're gonna regret your decisions. So what, is he a captain? No, he's not a captain. So he's in the soccer club. You can tell by, duh, he's kicking it, <laughs> the ball. So he's into soccer, he's 18. He's also a freshman and his house is Apollo. Hmm. Oh, the Greek god. Is Apollo like the, the speed guy who like, who likes to, okay, my Greek mythology is like rusty. I can't remember, but like, I think Apollo is like the sun god, right? And he has like wings for feet and he's a super fast runner. Maybe that's his skill. Like he's fast at, at you know, catching the ball and kicking it to the goal. Ooh, like you see the sun symbol. You see his house logo, like Apollo. I like that, cool. And this is his profile. <laughs> Damn, he's also toned, man. Look at his like, underwear, very unique. <laughs> and look at his casual clothes, what the fuck? Oh my God, he's very cheery. Oh, he's tan too, like you can see his tan lines on his arms and legs. <laughs> You're not really tan, oh my gosh, you lying to me. I like his clothes, it's unique. <laughs> Oh, look at his necklace. That's pretty. I wonder if he must have got that from his his house or something. Or maybe that necklace meant something to him. Maybe somebody that he cared about must have passed it on to him as a good luck charm. That could be possible. He has a band-aid. Ah, that's cute. Maybe he must have injured himself. <laughs> so he likes trying new things, exciting games, and he likes to hang out with his friends. Oh, he's very like positive and happy. Oh my god. He reminds me of like that game in Azuma 11, that freaking famous soccer arcade game. And the anime was really cool. I actually enjoyed the anime. I wish I could continue it because I got bored. But like, <laughs> I wonder if he has like a secret super power, like sun strike and you just hit the ball. Cause you can see the, the, the striking like effect going on here. <laughs> 
that's so cool. But wow, he can say yes to anything, even joining the jock studio for better or for worse. Dude, I I mean, the worst can, that can happen is like him getting, I hope it does not happen, getting Please do not show that in the game. I hope it doesn't go that far, but like, maybe that's the thing. For better, yeah, you get free sex with the main character. <laughs> like, go for it, have fun. <laughs> Oh my god. I really like the soccer ball design. It's really unique. I love the colors he chose. Mm, nice. Mendez. What, is he like half Hispanic? <laughs> like, it's not like a like a Hispanic like last name, Mendez. You probably like half Hispanic somewhere. Definitely. Like half Japanese, half Hispanic. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be buddy buddy with him in the game. Look at his jersey. 24. So he's number 24. Okay, nice. Go team Apollo. Look at the design of his shoes. Oh, he is so thick. I'm not really thick. Oh, he is so toned. Oh, look at his muscles. Oh my God. Damn, what is your like workout routine? I need to know. Next, we have the Aquarius type person. You can see the trident. Oh my God, we got Avon Guy Surford. So he is a swimmer. Okay, free boy, let's go. <laughs> Stoic and withdrawn, Avon Geisterford is a diligent member of the swimming club. He's a bit of a loner, but has an earnest and sincere nature, especially with those he trusts, which is quite rare. <laughs> Although he doesn't seem like he'd be the type to join Jock Studio, there is a side to him that he's very eager to show. So his voice is obviously swimming. He's 20? What, he's 20? You don't even look 20. Wow, you look good. He's a sophomore and his house is Poseidon. Oh my God, look at him. Dude, you remind me of Free, all the Free boys, y'all love swimming. <laughs> Look at him, look at his character profile. Oh my God, look at his jersey. Oh, it's like see-through, that's pretty unique, wow. Oh, glasses, Megan, and look at him without his clothes, his cute little jersey. Oh, it's also see-through, like, by his, like, his waist. Oh, nice. Oh, he's also toned, oh my God. He reminds me of Ray, because of the glasses. <laughs> and he wear goggles too. Ray also wear goggles on the water, because you can't see, oh my God. Okay, water type Pokemon trainer, let's go. <laughs> Stoic. Yeah, you can see in his face, he's very serious. Like, he wants to win. <laughs> oh my god, the nipples! <laughs> Alona. Oh, I wonder why he's, he's alone. Maybe he don't like people. Boy, you're gonna love me when I play the game. I'm like, dude, don't be alone. I wanna be near you. I want you to love me so I can love you back. <laughs> trust me. You don't have to trust anybody else. Don't worry. I hate people too. They're annoying. But you can trust me. I will love you forever. <laughs> Okay, I'm the same way too. Like, he's the type that shows his emotion, his personality to people he trusts. I'm like that too. Like, I can never open up to people unless I feel comfortable with them. Once I get to know the person, and if I like them, yeah, I will show my true colors, man. I will go all out. I guess he's the same way too. I Relatable! He seemed like he's not interested in going to Jock Studio, but he he's willing to like go in anyway, I guess. Oh my God, dude, this is cool. Oh, he got the like the blue, what is that? Like a, a mat? I don't know what this is. Can, can somebody comment down below what, what this blue thing is? If you're a swimmer, what does this mean? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> oh, the free Speedos. Oh my God. I am feeling the free vibes all over again. Oh my gosh, man. Guys, who's your favorite free character? Mine is Makoto. And my favorite ship is Makoto Haru. Obviously, though, I don't care. <laughs> Go swim forth to the new frontier. I don't know why, that, why I said that. I don't know what that means. Anyway, next we got this white ass ginger boy, Bryce Callahan. I don't know what the symbol is. Is that, is that the, it looks like a, these are balls and then these are like a, I don't know. I have no idea what this, what this is, but to me, these are, look like balls. But anyway, every college has a party loving frat guys. Oh my God, they are so annoying. And Bryce Callahan is no exception. An active member of the wrestling club, Bryce is brutish and masculine to the extreme. His number one priority is having a good time, <laughs> throwing his cares to the side. No matter how serious they are. Judging by his personality, being part of the jock studio doesn't make sense for him. And he prefer no one find out about it. Why? Is, is it bad? He has a reputation to keep. Oh, well, okay, of course. Okay, so his sport is wrestling. Oh, I thought it was like, oh, so it's not track? Okay. So his sport is wrestling. He's 21 years old. Wow. He's a junior and his house is Dionysus. Dio, Dionysus? I don't care pronounce it. Dionysus? I don't even know. I don't know. Oh my God, we got the ginger up in here. A party frat boy. Oh my. My God, you gotta have that one person who's into parties, man. He looked like the type that gets drunk a lot in parties and like fuck around with people. <laughs> oh, look at that damn 
freaking stick going out. What? Boy, do you know? Does he know about that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh look, he has freckles on his on his calf. Oh, oh, that's a, that's cute. Oh, nice shoes. Nice design. I love his shoes. He's ready to like destroy you. He is big. I wonder how tall he is. Six two? <laughs> Not. 21, wow, and this is his casual clothes, a Hawaiian shirt. Guys who wear baseball caps, like the opposite way are douchebags, man. Like they are the douchiest people in the world. Sunglasses, <laughs> look at him. Oh, look at his, his underwear. Oh my God, I love the comic book aesthetic going on. You got like the pal, the trophy. I get these are like, I don't know what that is. Like, I, I guess like boxing gloves. He's not a boxer though. I don't know what that is, but like, I love the comic book effect on his underwear. That's so cool. And he is toned. He is beautifully toned. Everybody is so toned up in this game. Like, do you have to be muscular to join in too? Like, is that part of the, like, the test? Like, <laughs> damn. Oh, God. I feel douchebag vibes. Oh my God. Like, he's so full of himself. Like, he's a narcissist. I mean, he don't, it don't say it, but like, uh, he seemed like very loud too. Very white. <laughs> I mean, it's good to have a good time, but how much do you need to have a good time? <laughs> He's not the serious type. He just take life by storm and like, just embrace it. Just have a good time, have a good life. <laughs> so yeah, he has a reputation to keep. If he goes to the jock studio, they probably like spread rumors, be like, oh my God, he went to the jock studio? Ew, like what's wrong with him? <laughs> he seemed very like outgoing and happy about this sport. I wanna know like why he likes like wrestling so much. Damn, look at his thighs. Thigh save lives, dude. There we go. Oh my god. I feel like his personality is gonna be so annoying to me. <laughs> Brutish and masculine to the extreme. Oh my fuck. He's a true alpha male loser. <laughs> What does brutish mean, like violent? I guess, it's like, I guess so. <laughs> please let me like you. I do like you, I mean, your appearance, but like, please have a good, like, less annoying personality. I doubt it. Next, we got this boy, Yuto Nakajima, and he has like the arrow, like the bow and arrow symbol. Also, fun fact, I learned that this boy right here, he used to be a side character in Camp Buddy. That is so cool. So they brought him from the previous game and made him as a main character for this game. That's interesting, cool. I I need to play the game because I want to know his personality. I don't know anything about him at all, but like I just know that like he's from Camp Buddy, and that's cool that they make him the forefront of the cast in this game. That's amazing. So his name is Yuto Nakajima. Chaotic is the best word to describe Yuto Nakajima, a talented member of the volleyball club. Full of balanced energy, Yuto is the life of the party. As far as he knows, he is compassionate and empathetic to everyone and everything around him. Despite his wild and blockheaded nature, I guess that's how he is in the, in the last game. Okay. Yuto joined Jock Studio by accident. Oh no. He's more than happy and determined to show what he's made of. His sport is volleyball. He's 20 years old. He's 20? So what was he in the last game? 18? 17? Wow, you're 20? Sophomore, that's his his year. And his house is Artemis. Oh. Oh, Artemis, the, the arrow. Oh my god. That's so cool. Wow, you see the wings? He's going hard. Okay, Haikyuu inspired nigga, go for it. Smack that ball, woo! <laughs> That's cool. And this is his clothes, his casual clothes right here. You can see it. Oh, he got like a Japanese inspired like kimono going on. It's like a half, like half kimono, half shirt. Nice style, I like that. I like the print. Ooh. Pretty. This dude is wearing a thong. Oh my god. I think that's one of those those sporty thongs that Japanese people use in festivals, I believe. I don't know what's the I don't know the name of it, but like damn. <laughs> And also beautifully toned and tan, and he is happy and cheerful, and I want me some of that. 20 years old, wow. You look good, man. Oh my God, I love his shoes. Oh, I love his jersey, he looks nice. So he's number four, wow. He has a buzz cut, nice hair, spiky hair. That's interesting. Chaotic, I wonder how crazy he is in the game. <laughs> Volleyball, okay, high cube energy. So he's a left of the party. Him and the ginger guy Guys should be friends. <laughs> He's the left of the party and the other one likes to party. So they are a match in heaven. They should go out and fuck. <laughs> So his personality is wild and blockheaded, and he's chaotic. Okay, I wonder how he joined the jock studio by accident. Like, what was he looking for? Like, I don't know, the bathroom, and he just wandering in the school, and then he ends up in the jock studio, and then they're like, "Oh shit!" So you're here now. Um, wanna go fuck this guy in the couch? He'd be like, "Okay." 
like, you know, like, let's go and do this. Oh my goodness, dude, this is crazy. That's cool. I'm proud of him. He's, he's having, he has his own personality, and he's gonna be his own character in his in this game. And he's and gonna give him more like lines and, and probably like a backstory. I I don't know how he is in Camp Buddy. Maybe he does have a backstory. Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. Like he's he. I know that he's a side character. So that's for sure. I'm proud of him. It's cool. I love this shade of pink. It's like a salmon pink going on. Ooh. You see the feathers popping out. He's doing like a super move, like like wings of destruction. Boom. <laughs> Smack those niggas in your face. You probably learned his skills from um, Tobio Kageyama. <laughs> Do it for the boys, man. <laughs> you got that high Q spirit. Go for it. <laughs> Next, we got the black boy, the black stereotype. Again, not offended, but it's kind of funny. Named Zane Alexander. And he's the lightning bolt. Oh, nice. Look at him. You can see the lightning powers coming out of that ball. Ha, <laughs> nice. Everyone knows Zane Alexander. I don't, I just met him. Ha! <laughs> the star member of the basketball club and the most popular guy at Olympus University. Ooh, what I want. Mm, popular. <laughs> yeah, we like tall black boys. <laughs> Rumor has it this charming and handsome guy is quite the playboy. Oh my god, no! Even off campus. What? But no one minds. After all, he wouldn't want him. Okay. Oh, sorry, I heard it wrong. <laughs> but no one minds. After all, who wouldn't want him? <laughs> Everybody wants that chocolate dick. Okay. <laughs> Zayn might seem like an unusual member of Jock Studio, considering his notoriety, but he's always looking for something or someone new to conquer. Oh, damn. Take me, boy. I need it. <laughs> so his sport is obviously basketball. He's 22. Damn, he's a junior and his house is Zeus. Oh, that's explained the lightning, the lightning ball. I thought it would be like Flash is <laughs> his house, but like, <laughs> I forgot this is based on Greek mythology. But look at him, look at his clothes. Ooh, he got the man bun going on, cute. Oh my God, number four. Oh, Jupiter symbol, nice. Open chest, I will lick it off. Oh, I wanna lick your chest. Ah, nice clothes, the Zeus symbol. Bowl, chain, oh my god, and he is woots beautiful and chocolatey. <sighs> Give me some of that chocolate pudding. Uh, basketball, you're definitely inspired by Kuroko no, no Basket, like, definitely. <laughs> You got the Zeus logo um, font on the basketball. That's cool. He's number 19. Look at that. I love his shoes. The lightning come happening. He's gonna strike up a storm and kill everybody on the court. <laughs> the man bun. But I can't believe he's a playboy. Damn it. <laughs> Why? You made me not trust you, man. You That means you're, an, you're a douche too. Aw. Why? So everybody loves black guys in this game. There we go. We're everywhere. We represent us. Thank you, Blitz Games. Thank you for putting my skin color, my people out there. Yeah, take us. We love you guys. We're not always angry. <laughs> but yeah, the stereotypical, like, black um person liking basketball. Okay, LeBron James. <laughs> He's a, Le he's a LeBron James of the group. So I guess like he's openly gay, I guess, cause this is an all boy university. So he's openly gay, most likely, and nobody cares. They're like, we love Zayn. <laughs> he's popular, we wanna fuck him. We, we want that chocolate black dick in our mouths. Like, oh, we love black people. There you go. And there he is. He is born. And also Zeus, I guess like, cause Zeus is very attractive and he has like, I could be wrong, multiple wives during his time. I know he married Aphrodite, I think. They were married and they have like a lot of kids, I think. I can't remember. It makes sense for him to be liked by everybody because he's very attractive. He's very handsome. He has a good body. <laughs> Big dick. <laughs> Dang, anybody can take him. <laughs> You're like, Zayn, yes, I'll fuck him. So he doesn't mind going to, to the jock studio. He's like, dude, come to me. I'm open to fucking anybody. I don't care. <laughs> 22, listen, black don't crack. And he looking fine. Look at that. Oh, his muscles. Woo. He is juicy. Uh, oh my God. I wonder if anybody would be like offended by, like, by him being the stereotypical black person who likes basketball. I'm not. I, I think it's cool. I'm not offended. <laughs> you go LeBron James lookalike. Oh my God. I mean, you look better better than LeBron James, but like, ugh. I love his hair color, his man bun. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love his sneakers design, nice. I wonder how many people he fucked on campus and off campus. 
<laughs> since nobody cares about being fucked by him like how many he has how many fuck buddies i need to know how the hell you end up in jock studio please tell me last but not least we got derek kingsfield i do not know what that symbol means uh, i thought that was like a drink <laughs> like this is a straw and that's like a circular drink i don't know <laughs> and he's a football player damn oh and he's the oldest he's 24 wow tall and mysterious and imposing derek kingsfield is a member of the football club and the team's quarterback nice his large demeanor is a result of his interest in fitness and bodybuilding yeah i can tell look at his biceps oh juicy while he tends to keep his personal life private he's actually very gentle and unapproachable oh, that's good derek's got quite a few secrets to unravel Ooh, and maybe some that some of them would explain why he's part of the jock studio damn so of course he likes football he's 24 he's a senior his final year in college in, in university and his house is aries so i guess that's the aries symbol right here and look at him he is fucking well built oh my god i like his uniform i love the design that is so different and unique it's like a, a sporty type thong that's so amazing what that is so cool and look at his casual outfit like a racetrack jacket oh my god lots of like belts like why you have so many belts <laughs> Oh, what would, oh, is his pouch? Oh my god. Oh, you got ripped jeans? That's cute. Okay, so you can show your skin. I mean, you showed it right here. Everything. Ooh, nice. Like, mommy likes. Mommy's looking. She'll root for you in your games. Nice tattoo. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he has like sunglasses. He looks very serious. Oh my god. He is tall and mysterious. How tall though? Look at the fiery passion coming, coming out of him. Oh my god. As a football player. I'm not even into football players. But like he's hot. There you go. Quarterback. Damn. He should go to the NFL. Wait, that's basketball, right? No, fuck. I don't know my sports. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm not a sports person, but this game will definitely make me change my mind. <laughs> hey, like, let's go. Let's go. Super Bowl every Sunday. <laughs> He's the type that probably watch Super Bowl Sundays every night. <laughs> And going so hard <laughs> for whatever team he's winning for. So he is lucky number 10. Oh, nice. Look at his juicy biceps. Yeah, he is a bodybuilder. Damn. He loves fitness. I love his shoes design. Wow. So his interest is, is fitness and bodybuilding. <laughs> Please don't make me go to the gym every day. I don't mind, but like, <laughs> I just want to look at you. Oh my God. I didn't even notice. Look at his dick. Oh my God. It is big. It is chilling to the side. Oh my God. Wait for me. When I get this game, we're gonna have so much fun together at the Jock Studio. <laughs> Damn. Do these guys understand like your dick is so big? God bless, but like it's showing. I can see the silhouette. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> my eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder what his personal life is. Like it says his life is private. So I wonder like like what? Does he like to fuck behind the scenes? <laughs> Without anybody noticing? Maybe. Or maybe he has like a lot of pets. He seems like a cat lover. He looks scary, but deep down he's probably, he's probably soft. Yeah, like deep down he's very gentle and approachable. And he goes to animal shelters every week to, to, to like take care of pets or something. I don't know. So what's your secret, man? Like what do you what did you do wrong? Or whatever you did, like What's, what's the secret? And you're part of the Jock Studio, like, wow. Like, how did you end up there? This is cool. I love this. <laughs> I want to learn more about you, man. Your fiery passion of your of your love for, for soccer. For soccer. Your fiery passion for your love of football. Like, how he ends up liking football and how he ends up in the school. You know, it's, it's interesting. But you're the oldest, 24? Damn, it looks so good. I love this. I love the design and his chest. I want to lick his chest. Ah, give it to me. Give me everything about you. Oh, I want to protect you and take care of you. So that's it for the characters of Jock Studio Kickstarter. So the first quarter will be in 2023 next year. Oh my God, I can't wait. Look at all the symbols. Wow, that's cool. And these are the people that made the game. Thank you for making this. I love the design. Thank you to all these people. Blitz Games, you guys are amazing. I gotta play your camp buddy. So yes, these are the characters of camp, of Jock Studio. Oh my God, I said camp buddy. Oh my God. I love the design. I just wanna know like, like why everybody chose to go to the school. And Jock Studio, they say that like, it's a secret place. So like, how do you get in? Do you need like a invitation, an email? How far? Or is it in the school? Is it in the basement? Is it like located somewhere else? Like, how do these boys end up going to this secret location? I'm very curious, and I want to know, want to learn like everybody's.
his like backstory because we didn't know that he just doesn't know what he wanted to do or if he's interested in what house he wants to join that's really up to us to figure out like what we like i guess <laughs> And help him like find what he enjoyed and then along the way make new friends and of course romance a lot of fucking we're gonna go to the jock studio and fuck anyway that's, that's great this one the this you you told why did you got kicked out of camp buddy why are you here <laughs> like what got you into sports like i don't know you that well but i know you're from the previous game like oh my god a lot of people will, will love you that's great and yeah i'm just i just want to know like so like after like college whatever especially it's for like Derek like what's he gonna do after college like is he gonna still do football is he gonna like like join the NFL that's probably the wrong thing I'm thinking about but whatever is, is he gonna go professional are they still gonna are each character are gonna continue doing sports after college because you know like some people like you know life gets in the way and you know they might change their career path and that's okay I love how like each house represents like Greek gods like we got Apollo Poseidon, Dionysus, <laughs> Dinosaur Man, I don't know, Artemis, Zeus, Ares, that's amazing, like, they all represent each, like, Greek gods, and I guess, like, it, it probably fit their personality more, because I don't know the personality of Ares, maybe he's, like, a fiery, passionate person, Apollo, he's always happy, and that kind of represents Leo, because he's, he's a sunshine boy, he's always happy, and stuff. Poseidon, I don't remember his story, but like he's, they say like he's stoic. No, they say that Avon is stoic and withdrawn. Maybe Poseidon is like that in, in real Greek mythology. Any people who into like mythology, Greek stuff, please comment down below. Like I would love to learn about this because it's kind of cool that they inspire like, like Greek stuff in this game. Like you can see by the school, I'm still gonna block the statue because their dicks are huge. <laughs> you can see by the school, it's like it, they, they were inspired by the Coliseum and they make it to like a, a university. That is amazing. I would love to go here if I was a guy. <laughs> and like they got the Greek, I don't know, hieroglyphics i don't know <laughs> going on here but yeah i really am excited to play this game which one of these boys are your favorite comment down below i'm very curious about the jock studio it's funny how like in the school you're allowed to fuck that's great <laughs> if the principal said like listen there's a jock studio do whatever you want just be loud as you want just don't don't leave any mess <laughs> I don't, that makes no sense. If it's a secret, but like most people probably know what it is, then it's not a secret. I'm pretty sure the main character is, go is going to overhear the conversation of like other students be like, oh, did you hear about the jock studio? They'll be like, what? What's the jock studio? Oh, it's a secret place where you can film yourself fucking other people in your club. Like what? Like it's not really a secret if everybody knows about it. And it's in a public school. Duh. Like I guess the location of it, definitely underground. There's no like soundproof walls. So you could be loud as, as much as you want, I guess. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure it's probably like in the basement of the of the university for sure. <laughs> Cause this seems like it's been here for a while. Maybe it's tradition tradition to like go here and like, and fuck and film it and I don't even know what to do with it. But cool, cool. And I'm very excited to know how these boy will how these boys will interact with their with their dicks intertwining with each other. And I cannot wait to play this game. I am so excited and buy the game in 2023. The first quarter, the first segment of the game. They're probably gonna have more later on. I'm so happy. I'm happy for the Kickstarter, man. Like I'm so excited. Support Blitz Games, follow their Twitter account. Give them all the support and love. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!